Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I have lots of leftover paints from some of my previous pours. Um, I'm going with the blue teals and the sandy white colours. Most of them are these cheaper brand of the Alrado uh, paints. So that's the uh, Chill and Turquoise and the Cobalt Hue, they're in there. This one, I'm not sure what this one's made up of, but I have tried to get them all roughly the same consistency. Some may be a little bit thinner. And this is my white Elrado. Elrado? Always, oh, I'm never too sure. Actually, I might add a little bit more water to that one. The, um, just a little bit. What I've done, uh, the plan for this canvas, which is a 16 by 20, is to do a ring pour. Uh, this is going to be the biggest ring pour I have ever done. Just a little bit more, I think. Um, and I'm also testing this, satin enamels. I bought some with the uh, goal of eventually creating some pearl pours because um, I love Sarah Taylor's art and I'd love to do something like that. Uh, so I've added a little bit to this. So this is probably about a quarter satin enamels and this is just purely for me to see how it's going to react. Um, I've seen Sarah, another Sarah, Sarah Mack um, art do ring pours with um, with some like clouds in it so I guess that's kind of what I'm hoping will happen but I have no idea uh, this is my learning journey three months in and uh, yeah still playing around so let's get started all right I've got a 450 ml cup. Um, I'm going to pretty much have to fill that right up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have enough paint. But if I've got a bit left over from the cups, what I'm going to do is pour a puddle. I'll show you what I mean when I get to it. drop this one from high to get it to mix actually which I haven't done before so some gold do a bit of a sandy row shall we I've just realized that I've done this wrong. Oh. Gone back to front. 
the colours that I put in first were the most important. So I may not actually pour all this out. I did it the wrong way around. All right. I'm going to draw, put a couple of puddles down because I just want to make sure I get the spread. That should be enough. And I know it's going to roll over itself a bit. Because I've done the nicer stuff last. Mm. All right, let's give this a whirl. It's only paint, right? my mind about how I was going to do that. That's interesting. So pop these on the corner. I almost want to drag this through. I don't know if my white's doing anything. It could be over here. So I might go off centre and try and keep some of this. try and stop this rolling over itself a bit so it hopefully flows a bit any of that before I continue. I think I do.
sides. Sides are all good there. Do I want to take more off that way? Let's go back end. Just turn it so I can see. size actually turned out quite well on this probably because I haven't fiddled too much that's really interesting it flows but not drip but it flows around blue gets bolder and gets lighter and lighter and we've got the we do have the, uh, the white clouds that's really interesting don't think that gold's going to shine. Not much anyway. I think it did have a bit of ochre in it. I might torch this because there's some interesting stuff happening with that gold. Let me take my gloves off. I mean, there, there are blocks, little blocks, like the blocks are blue and the blocks are turquoise. I think that's called turquoise. Let me find it. That one is called Harbour Blue. By Elrado, Elrado de Polo. I love this here. It's always on the corners. Considering that I <laughs> completely mucked up my order of my paints, it's turned out quite nice. Now, someone did suggest to me that for my first big painting um, that I should do a ring pour. Now this is not the biggest canvas I've done. Well, actually, okay. This is equal to the biggest canvas I've done. Do I want to run anything through there to make more detail? Mm, no. Look, I think I've got more stuff popping up here. Um, yeah, I should do a ring pour for my first big canvas. Um, I'm a bit torn at the moment. So I was thinking about doing that, but my swipes have been going well, except for my very last swipe, which didn't go so well. And I got these beautiful blues, blue colours from Amsterdam that I had delivered that I would love to do on a big canvas but I need to do a smaller canvas first to make sure I can get my technique and medium and everything sorted okay so here it is wet it's 45 minutes since uh, since I stopped painting so I want to see how it developed and we've got some lovely clouds I guess you call them I'm gonna go back up here I love I love the flow it's got a real centerpiece and then some interest around the outside I mean my favorite is probably this this sort of coloring I quite like I don't like that as much, but um, it definitely adds something to it. And uh, now we've got all this softness created from the white. Now I think what when I was doing it, I had it in my head the wrong way when I was putting the paint into the cup. But the good thing was that when I first added the white, I tipped it down the middle, which meant it sank through all those other colors and I think that's why we've got these bits going around through here um, I think that's from where it went through the paint so so glad that I did that <laughs> so um, yeah that's looking really good I will show you when it's dry okay here it is dry 
and I'll show you the gold. It's it is shining just a little bit. See. Hmm. Now I've put it this way, which I think is the way you guys are looking at it. Um because it looks like a tunnel, a cave, that way. Um, and these are like some rocks and stuff down here. And you can also put it this way. And that also looks like some rocks down here and sort of like a staircase into a cave. But I think I do like it this way the best. Yeah, it looks very deep. Hmm. So, let's have a little look at these uh, clouds. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what these are called. Is this called clouds? Because remember, I'm still learning this. So the terminology sometimes trips me up. But yeah, really nice. Those pops of blue. Hmm. Yeah, these look like little rocks. And we can sneak our way up into the cave. <laughs> if only. I love caves. We have a lot of caves here in Western Australia. Visited many. Hmm. So, I guess that's it for that one. I'll just show you this bit up here as well. It's quite pretty. That was a really good experiment. That worked well. I. I do need to look up what the ratios of using the satin enamels is but I might get more into that when I start playing with purples. I did order some Artist Love White but it got lost. Um, so if there's anyone from Australia out there that knows what a good good type of paint to use for the purples, let me know in the comments below. But yeah. That's it for that one. It was a very good experiment. Bit of fun, something a little different. So uh, next I'll be trying some more swipes. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.